Oh, well, hello there. I didn't see you there. <laughs> do you like camping, saving money, and do you believe that the only way to build true explosive power from your glutes, quads, and calves is to do full depth ass to grass squats? Well, if we're on the same page about those things, then I'm gonna show you how to save money by refilling these bad boys right here. So we get 20 refills out of one $20 tank versus two bought new for $10, maybe even more now. I, I don't buy these very frequently. We're gonna go through how we prep the tanks to make sure that we have the best chance of our, our resealing valve not failing on us because that is one of the pitfalls. These tanks usually go bad when that plunger won't come all the way back up and prevent the air from, or the propane from escaping. So let's start with what we're gonna be using to refill. This is just on Amazon. It's a, I'm sure the brand doesn't matter, but it's a universal propane tank refill adapter. These are available even if it's not that brand and they're very simple. One end of it goes into the tank and this end of it goes into the propane cylinder. So let's get this thing threaded in start to prep these tanks and we are only moments away from having full cylinders so i've been refilling these for a couple years now uh, i do a lot of camping i got my truck set up so that uh well its primary use is off-roading and uh Off-roading and camping. And then I've got the car here for regular ab about town driving. Okay, so first, I you can use several different things. I also have uh, fluid film. I would say that's good as well. But I'm going to use this uh, specific uh, WD-40 that's infused with white lithium grease. And that's going to provide a really nice film I uh, I spray a lot of things with that and you're just gonna the ever the slightest little bump of this stuff is all you want okay and don't forget to save your caps if you're gonna reuse these otherwise You'll have to be like me and make some dumb little thing like that just to protect the threads when they're rolling around in the bed of your truck. Much better. I overdid it on those first ones, clearly. All right, so the reason that this is upside down is because it needs to be upside down to complete the refilling process. Um, so I'm actually gonna give this one just a little bit more. And the grease also is gonna sit in here and prevent corrosion can see this one's got just a little bit of uh, patina and then this one's brand new nice and shiny so this is a newer bottle Great, I just unthreaded. Beautiful. All right, let's try that. Now, 
you just turn it on as you can hear you're gonna hear that it takes like a minute usually unless it's gonna make me look like an idiot And as it gets close, you just shake the tank just a little bit, just rock it back and forth, and that'll help finish out the uh, recharge. So yeah, I mean, the, the basics are keep your caps, make sure to, to lube these uh, just, a, just a tiny bit, especially if you're not gonna be storing them in a temperature controlled environment my other my other tip would definitely be to number these because just having a whole bunch of tanks you got to shake everything i'll burn my one tank two tank you know uh these are newer so these aren't numbered yet there we go that's the refilling process kind of stopped and then if you shake it we'll actually put more in there and I mean, you're not going to get the full 16 ounces. So these are one pound tanks. Um, you're not going to get the full recharge. You are going to... Oh, this is a 15 pound tank. I'm sorry. You're going to get 15 charges out of this. These are one pound tanks. But you may get almost 20 because these won't take the full 16.4 using this method. You're going to get them to like 12... I mean, if, if this tank is full, maybe you get them above that, but you're going to have three quarter full tanks. Um, you're not losing any propane. You just can't get them full, full like they do at the factory. And the other thing is if you're, if you're really hell bent on getting them as full as possible, you can really sit here and continue to shake this and continue to, to get a little bit more in. But if you only care about getting the bulk you know, like three quarter charge, you just carry four or five tanks with you. They just sit in the drawer under the bed anyway, so it's not a big deal. Yeah, see that just took off again. Obviously do this in a ventilated space. I am in my garage right now. There's a door open here. There's a, the garage door open behind me. So there's, you know, there's air going through here. You don't want to be filling these cylinders in case there is some sort of leak in an enclosed area, you know, and if you do, you want to light a cigarette to, uh, you know, cause some excitement. So let's see, it's still going. So it's, uh, the more you rock it, the more you are going to get Once it stops this time, which you'll hear it once it goes silent, it just went silent. So I'm going to shut this valve and we'll unscrew this tank and see what we've got. Yep. Yeah. That's perfect. That feels three quarter full. A lot of juice in there. And when you compare it to an empty one, nothing in here. So I'm not going to bore you guys with uh, doing the other three. This was just for informational purposes. In case you didn't know that you could refill these, they don't want you to. They say don't do it, but don't listen to them. Just like expiration dates on medications and uh, food, it's a guideline, not a requirement. It's free country. Um, the other thing is when you refill this, put it up to your ear and just make sure that your valve is not leaking. And if you do have a leak, um, this might seem kind of stupid, but uh, I always carry a torch with me camping anyway. And my leaky cylinders, uh, if I really don't want them to leak, I'll just throw my torch on whichever cylinder is having an issue and I'll use that one to start the fire, um, which works great, by the way. If you do not carry 
a torch for camping purposes to light fires when you got wet wood and you don't want to deal with fire, you know, purchasing fire starters over and over and over. And um, the torch is your get out of jail free card. You don't need Norse newspaper. You don't need anything. I guarantee you'll get a fire going with that. So with that said, I hope that you found this helpful. Um, and uh, if I... If I think of any other cheap camping hacks that I use regularly because it doesn't always occur to me. I've been doing some of this stuff so long that I just it just occurred to me. I was camping this weekend. My my friend was like, why your tanks look like they're like five years old? And I was like, oh, I refill them. So it just made me realize that not everybody knows um, that you can refill these. So I wanted to do a video about it so that uh, you can save money and have a great time camping. So take care and I'll see you in the next one.